Hi, so in this video, I'm going to explain the difference between these two ligatures. One includes a steel plate, and the other does not include a steel plate. These ligatures might look similar, however, they are completely different ligatures. The ligature with the steel plate included contacts the reed just by these two little ridges. I'll show you a close-up right now. So here you can see how the steel plate provides the reed with two ridges on which to vibrate. So it doesn't smother out the reed, it basically provides a structure for the reed to play its best on. This ligature, however, smothers the reed and doesn't really give the reed a living chance to perform at its best. Saxophone instructors like myself have regarded this ligature just to go in the trash. As you can probably guess, many more saxophone players like the steel-plated ligature as opposed to the non-steel-plated ligature. This is because these ligatures are fundamentally different ligatures. However, they probably look really similar, they're just completely different ligatures. Now, if you're using either one of these ligatures, especially the non-steel plated ligature, make sure that you don't screw down too tightly this ligature or else you're smothering out your sound and just squandering your reed. This is why I highly recommend the Eddie Daniels Rovner Versa ligature as opposed to non-steel plated rubber ligatures just like these. If you're interested in trying out this ligature, go ahead and check out the links in the description below, all while supporting my channel. So thank you very much, and let me know what you think.